My fourth grade son's school is having a career day and they asked me to come talk about wealth management. So I'm going to talk about stocks, bonds, all that other good stuff. But I also put together a couple of slides on the basics of investing and what it means to grow money for the long term. And I thought that a lot of people, what are clients, friends, family, kids of clients, could probably use the same information themselves. So I was going to run through a couple of these more interesting slides just to highlight what we're going to go over. So first, how many times would you have to fold a piece of paper in half for it to reach the moon? In the presentation, I'll have my little piece of paper and ask the kids what they think. The reality is it's only 42 times. This math here, two to the 42nd power, get a little over 44 trillion, show them that there's math involved and of course, why you need to learn math in school. But here we're looking at the power of compounding. The reality is things grow exponentially over time. So realistically, you could only fold a piece of paper about six or seven times. If you get a huge piece of paper, maybe you can fold it 10. Um, if you could fold a piece of paper something like 90 times, you'd probably extend it out to the size of the known universe. Um, but again, that's just to demonstrate the power of compounding because in investing, that is the most incredible topic of all. Now, the rule of 72, we talk about this all the time, but the rule of 72 tells us how long it takes us to double our money. So we take 72 divided by the interest rate or the rate of growth, and that's how long it takes us to double our money. So if we're earning 1%, it is gonna take us 72 years to double our money. If we are earning 10%, it is going to take us 7.2 years to double our money. Why is this important? Because when I'm talking to a bunch of fourth graders, they have a lot of time on their side. The earlier they get started, the more money they're gonna have. So again, math formula here to show them where these numbers are coming from. You gotta understand the math behind some of these calculations. But how much money would you end up with if you invested $1,000 and earned a 10% rate of return for 72 years? Now, if you start with $1,000 and you leave it invested, don't do much for 72 years, you don't have to do anything. You're just sitting back and letting the money grow. And the reality is because of the power of compounding that doubling, we're getting up to roughly $1 million. And we get there because of that rule is 72. So in that first 10 year period, I'm sorry, first 7.2 year period, we're up to 2000, then 4,000, then eight, 16, 32, 64. So in this time period, we had six periods of doubling and we're only up to 64,000. But then the next, we get up to 128, then 256, then 512. And then by that last time period, in that last 7.2 years, we go from 500,000 to over a million dollars. So whereas in the first doubling period, it took us the same amount of time to go from 1,000 to 2,000. In that last doubling period, we go up $500,000 just because of that power of compounding. It's kind of like if we go back to this calculation from Earth to the Moon and folding paper, if it takes 42 times to fold a piece of paper to get from the earth to the moon, well, how big is it when you fold it 43 times? Well, not only is it long enough to get to the earth to the moon, it's now going back from the earth to the moon and back. So again, power of compounding is a credible concept. And that's how we get from here, the growth of $1,000 invested in 1926 in the S&P 500 gets up to 11.5 million by the end of 2022, despite the suboptimal returns of 2022. If we ran this out to 2021, the number would probably be closer to 14 million, something in that neighborhood. So again, this is just to explain the power of compounding over time. We can start with a little money and watch it grow as long as we have good habits of saving rather than spending. And this last slide is going to just touch on the fact that as a young saver, if you can put away money early on, the people that start later will never be able to catch up. So in this case, Jack contributes $200 per month between the ages of 25 and 35 and invests a total of $24,000. And then he never contributes another penny to this account. Jill, on the other hand, contributes $200 per month between the ages of 35 and 65. And the reality is, despite contributing $72,000, three times as much as Jack, she still has less money. And that's just because the power of compounding is such that by starting out over here, when she is just getting started, 
the money is now generating more than Jill is putting into the account on her own. And if Jill continued to contribute the same amount of money for the rest of her life, she still would not likely catch Jack. Um, so these are the topics we're going to go over with kids because I think that they're all important things to talk about when we're talking about the importance of starting young, the importance of investing, the importance of saving rather than spending. But again, if you have questions about this or anything else, or you want to talk to your kids or grandkids about the importance of saving and how you compound and get really, really wealthy um, by just doing the blocking and tackling of investing, please feel free to share this and have them give me a call. Thanks. Have a great day.